Hello everyone, Marius Pjogios from Basel, Switzerland again and today we're going to speak about a new device. Actually, it's a new version of a device that we frequently use for the treatment of tandem lesions. It's called the Preset Light Stent Retriever and this new version uh, has an ending that can be connected to an extension wire. So you can elongate your wire to 3 meter and 15 centimeters. And uh, as you know, we frequently use the revised technique for uh, the treatment of tandem lesions. Um, if you haven't seen the video, you can click on the description below. Uh, and the idea is that you parallelly uh, treat the intracranial and the extracranial lesion. In order to do that, you need a No15 wire on your stent retriever. And that's why we um, usually do this with uh, preset light. And the advantage of the new system is that you can connect an extension wire uh, after you have treated the carotid lesion with your balloon and with your stent. And then you have the length to safely uh, introduce an aspiration catheter and control the positioning of the stent retriever the whole time. The extension wire can also be disconnected if in the later phases of the thrombectomy you then need a shorter wire. Uh, in my experience you don't really need this, so I mostly leave it on uh, and uh, remove uh, the unit stent retriever, aspiration catheter and of course clot after stenting uh, the carotid uh, with our so-called safe technique. So can this be used only for tandem lesions? No. Uh, I actually had the idea about the revised technique uh, at the beginning um, on a case with a dissection. So this is also um, very useful for the treatment of uh, dissections, which then can produce maybe an intracranial occlusion. Uh, and also if you cannot reach the positioning uh, in the carotid with uh, an aspiration catheter or with a guide catheter, it can be used to reach a distal vessel with a microcatheter, anchor your stent retriever, uh, and then use the extension wire to be able to introduce an aspiration catheter and, and reach the intracranial lesion with safety. So let's see on our angio table how you are able to connect the wire uh, and also disconnect it afterwards. So this is your typical scenario. You have punctured the groin, there is a stent retriever in the brain, you have treated your cervical lesion with a stent and a balloon, uh, and now you want to introduce your aspiration catheter towards the intracranial lesion to perform your thrombectomy. And what typically happens in such a case is that you don't have any control of the wire, uh, so you have to really carefully push the aspiration catheter and even if you do this very very carefully you can see what happens here you actually push the wire towards the brain so maybe you also have some force on the stent retriever uh, and that's exactly why we need this uh, extension wire so as you can see I can now extend my 2 meter stent retriever wire to 3 meters and 15 uh, I'm using this extension wire, now it's connected and it's actually pretty smooth so even now you can advance other devices over it uh, and again the big advantage is that now I can introduce my aspiration catheter to the extension wire. So I will now ask my assistant to get a hold of the end of the wire so as you can see we can now tap the wire there and I can now safely introduce the aspiration catheter. So now as I'm pushing you see there is no force on the wire and we have a stable positioning of the stent retriever in the brain. And again this is now being done safely. You can now go all the way to the clot and then do your thrombectomy maneuver. Um, and uh, if for whatever reason after you do the thrombectomy or even before you want to disconnect the wire you can do this. So I will just push it all the way until I have the connection part here. So you can see this is the connection part and now I'm disconnecting it which can be done easily. If for whatever reason you want to connect it again this can be done easily. And now you have a smooth 3 meter 15 centimeter wire uh, that you can use for exchange maneuvers and for other uh, purposes. Another great use of the extension wire is for distal thrombectomies. You all know the problem when you're using a distal stent retriever, like for example the preset light 3 millimeter, 
Uh, and you also want to use a reperfusion catheter, like for example the 3 Max from Penumbra. You have to at some point exchange your microcatheter blindly for the reperfusion catheter because the microcatheter and the reperfusion catheter have the same length. So what you do is that you exchange for your reperfusion catheter without being able to control the stent retriever and sometimes you are pushing on the stent retriever uh, without um, being able to control the proximal wire. Uh, that's where the extension wire comes in play, uh, again for distal thrombectomies, because then you can exchange your microcatheter for a, a distal reperfusion catheter with controlled grip on your wire and you can always push the reperfusion catheter towards the stent retriever without ever losing the positioning of the stent retriever.